In this video, I will be showing you how to export your video in Sony Vegas using the best settings without any quality loss. And in, and in the end of the video, I will be showing you how to make the file size smaller without much quality loss to upload online such as YouTube more faster. So here I've, I've opened up Sony Vegas and I've loaded my project, my 3 seconds project in there. Is three seconds long so the first thing you want to do once you've opened up Sony Vegas you want to go to file and you want to go to properties so once you're in properties you want to choose the template whichever te whichever project you're working on choose whichever one so for example say you're working in a your 1080p HD project then you want to choose HD 1080p 60i 30 frames per second and if you're going to be working in half of 1080p which is 720p you want to choose HD 720p 30 frames per second so my project is 1080p HD so I'm going to go with this one then leave everything everything as it is then the next thing you want to do is you want to go you want to come down to audio tab then audio tab where you see bus master bus mode you want to choose stereo or 5.1 surround sound so if you're working in 5 point surround sound you want to choose 5 point surround sound if you're working in stereo choose stereo sample rate you, you want to leave it at 48 hertz then bit depth choose 16 if you're going to be working in 24 uh, depth then choose 10 24 i'm going to be working in 16 then leave everything everything as it is then another thing i want to mention is if you want sony vegas to start up with these settings all the time go down and tick 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 this box here start all new projects with these settings if you tick this box so every time you open up sony vegas these these will be your default settings and you don't need to come down to pro project properties and keep changing them every time so i'm going to go apply then okay then here I have a clip here and I'll play it so you can see it. So this project is about three seconds long. So in order to render the project, what you need to do is you need to highlight your whole movie project here like, like this. Highlight it, then you want to go to File, Render As. Or you can go here, the blue icon, if you click on this icon here. So click on Render. Then once you're in Render, Save As Type. As you can see here, you, you, the one the format you're looking for is Sony AVC, this format. Then once you chose Sony AVC, then you want to come down to template. Then here, they have a loads of options here. So if your movie is 5.1 surround sound, then you want to choose AVCD HD 1080p 5.1 surround sound. So I'm going to choose 5.1 surround sound for now. Then you want to go to custom leave everything as it is then you want to go to audio and just double check that these are the settings that you're looking for the bit rate 448 then sample rate 48 then these video settings they are the highest already so you don't need to change them leave everything as, as it is then click ok so now i'm going to just render this to my desktop now it has finished rendering so if i go to my desktop And here's the clip that I've just rendered. So I'll play it so you can see it. So this is the clip and if I go to properties and I can show you that this this file size is 7 megabytes for about 4 seconds. So the video is 4 seconds long and is about 7 megabytes. So if you want the file size to be smaller and you're working in a big movie project and you want the file size to be smaller and you want to upload it on YouTube more faster what you got to do is you need to download a program called Handbrake this is the best program to use if you don't want any quality loss and you you want the file size to be smaller as small as possible so you want to go to Google and you want to type in Handbrake it's the first link Op open the first link then click download Handbrake this is also uh, compatible with Mac so if you're on a Mac operating system you need to go to Google then you get the op option to download for Mac so I'm on Windows so download Handbrake here so once you've downloaded it once you've installed the program open up the program then once the program is opened what you need to do you need to uh, drag the video which you have rendered from Sony Vegas on top of the program then once you've done that you want to come down to cropping you want to you want to choose custom and you want to clip you want to type zero on top then left zero right zero so here 
I've chosen zero for everything. The next thing you want to do is go to video, leave everything as it is, don't change anything. Then go to audio. If your file is stereo, then by default, when you go to the audio options, you can see that the bitrate is set to low. So what you want to do is you want to lift it up to at least 320 to get the best quality sound. And if you want a stereo, what you need to do is you can, ch you, you can change it here. You can either choose a AAC pass through, which, which keeps the original sound, or you can change it to MP3. So I usually change it to MP3 when I'm going to be uploading to YouTube. So I usually choose stereo here, mix down stereo, then I leave it at 320, then I leave it as MP3. And if you want the original sound settings, then choose uh, MP3 pass through, a AAC pass through, or choose, if, if your one is 5.1, then choose a AC3 pass through. If, when you choose these options, uh, there will be no change in settings. It will be the same settings that you rendered in Sony Vegas. If your file is 5.1 surround sound, so what you're going to do is you want to go to codec and you want to choose AC3. Or if you, if you want a higher than AC3, they have DTS options as well, more higher options than AC3. So I'm going to go for AC3 here, then bitrate, leave it at bitrate. Then here, bitrate 448, I'm going to choose. Then go to mix down. And if your one is 5.1 channels, then choose that one. Or you have Dolby Surround or Stereo, whichever channel you want to export it as. So I'm going to choose 5.1 channels. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to destination where it says file. You want to go to browse wherever you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'll just call it something here. Then save it. Then after you've done that, you want to click on start encode. As you can see, the encode is very fast. Now it's finished. The encode is finished. Quit the program. Now this is my rendered clip from Handbrake and this is the original Sony Vegas rendered clip. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. So that's the clip. So if I go down to properties, as you can see, is about one megabytes for four seconds video. And if you check the original rendered video, that's about seven megabytes. So this is useful if you if you're working in a big movie project and you want to be you want to make the file size as much as possible without any quality loss. This is the best program and it's totally free. So that's all guys. If this video has helped you, please like the video and subscribe for more new videos. Thank you.